up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome i post videos every monday wednesday and friday and today i'm showing you how to get shellac nails at home on a budget now i don't know about where you live but where i live shellac nails are pretty expensive and my nails grow really fast so i have to get my nails redone every two weeks especially because i'm making jewelry all the time my nails break i personally think that when someone has their nails done and already and they're clean and fresh and cute they look like they have their entire life together <laughs> but at the same time not everyone can afford to go and get their nails done every two weeks when it's costing $45 like where I live it's $45 Canadian to get a shellac manicure plus $5 tip and I have to go every two weeks that's a hundred dollars a month every time I'm paying I'm like why like I can just see my money being like torn apart because my nails like I got these nails done last Friday like I don't know if you can see that but like this one's breaking like they're grown out already and then they just kind of look gross I was like I'm so tired of first of all going all the way to the nail salon sitting there and my nail salon's always late and um, then paying $50 for nails that look like this not even one week later. I've seen my nails done enough times that I feel like I can do them myself. And I really wanted to find a more affordable, budget-friendly way for, I, for me to do my nails, for other people to do their nails. Although the initial cost may be a little bit more expensive than just going to get your nails done you know one time in the long run it's going to really save you a lot of money and you're going to look bougie on a budget for a long time i hate myself every time i say that looking at this and how kind of inexpensive this was it kind of made me like huh why was i spending so much money you know but another thing i have to say if you guys like going to the salon and getting your nails done and you feel pampered then go by all means but i'm always looking for a way to save a buck here and there so i'm going to quickly show you guys what i got to do this and then we're going to jump in and i'm going to show me actually doing my nails so i went to a store called star Badar. a lot of times you can only buy gel nail polish at like more professional nail like supply stores i'm not sure if they sell them at sally's they might but i know that you need a membership for this store i think it was just like a few dollars more expensive on amazon than at the store the first thing i got was the nail polishes the nail polish is a lot more expensive at that store a regular opi nail polish was around seven dollars and these were 21 dollars each but if you think about it, it lasts way longer. It's it's shellac. It's literal professional grade shellac, what they use at the nail salon. So I got a few colors. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got the base and the top coat. This is very important when you're doing shellac. So they're the OPI base coat and the OPI top coat. And then I got four colors to start with because I wanted kind of one of each, my favorite colors, and really I only wear these these four colors and then once I get tired of them I can go back and buy different colors based on the season based on my mood maybe I'll get a black I don't know we'll see so the first one I got is white this is like a stark white this is called alpine snow and it's literally just white 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 now it's different than the color I have on my nails now the color I have on my nails now is like a creamy white this was one this is called it's in the clouds by OPI it's also a gel color gel gel you what you could you do you what you want gel color when i put this one next to it it made this one kind of look gray but this is like more of like a clearish white it's not so like opaque this is opaque then i got the color uh, bubble bath and this one i got for a my nails but better it's like a clear pinky kind of color and this is going to give me you know when it looks like a kind of like a see-through pink color that's what this is going to give me and this is like my favorite everyday nail polish then i got the color red hot rio and i'm very picky when it comes to my red nail polish i don't like like fire hydrant red like candy apple red i like deeper kind of burgundy red so this is red hot rio and it's like the perfect deep red and then i got samoan sand this is going to be my nude i was debating between this and tiramisu for two okay so i got this this is the lacquer remover dissolver you can use regular acetone i just thought i would get it because i didn't have any more acetone but they sell acetone like straight up acetone it has to be 100% acetone at Walmart, but I got uh, this one. It's from OPI, and apparently it's the best, and apparently it smells. It doesn't smell. <laughs> Nolan was like, it smells so good. I nearly almost just died. This is 180-180. This is also 180-180, and then this one's 100-180. The lower 
the grit levels like the 100 is going to be more gritty than 180 and then i just got these two buffers this one i got because they always buff my nails before they put on the shellac polish and then i got this cuticle pusher and this ha also has like um a, like a scraper so you can go around the sides of your nails and make sure everything's really tight and really good so the most important thing besides the polish is the lamp and at the actual store i was looking at lamps and they were like the cheaper one was 100 and the more expensive one was like 400 and i was like well i'm not spending that much because that's not bougie on a budget okay that is gonna break the bank but then i went on trustyamazon.ca and i found this one this is what the box looks like i got i ordered it yesterday and it came this morning amazon you blow my mind so it is the professional nail, nail lamp cure all gel uv gel builder gel LED gel. It is a two-in-one LED UV lamp. This one I liked because you can also put your toes in. This one was $36 Canadian and it came in one day for someone who's not doing nails all day long. It looks like this. It has a little countdown button. It has 30 seconds, 60 seconds, $36 versus $100 or $400. So that's everything I got to do my nails on a budget. I think it's time to go and show you guys me doing my nails. I'm super excited about this. Yay! This is going to save me so much time and so much money. Maybe not so much time because it might take me longer to do the nails, but at least I wanted to drive to the salon. So I went ahead and took off the polish and prepped my nails last night, and I would just show you guys how to do it on these two nails. I also wanted to show you that this is the color Samoan Sand. It's this one right here. Super, super pretty. That's that one. I know you can find them on Amazon. You can find a bunch of different brands, colors, and all of that. So to take off your nail polish, the first thing you're going to do is actually file off the first layer, the top coat. I just did this one yesterday to test it out, but I don't want to walk around with four white nails and one new one. If you have regular nail polish, you can just go ahead with nail polish remover. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your... 100% acetone and you're gonna take paper towel or you should be using like a cotton pad or whatever and I fold it up and you're also going to need a piece of tin foil and you're just gonna I'm sure you've seen this done before just gonna wrap it around the nail and then just kind of like wrap this around it and then you're just gonna wait and I'll show you how easy it is for it to come off so after a few minutes you can go ahead and pull this off don't throw it away though, you will need it. I'm a little impatient, so I kind of don't wait the proper time. You can see how thin the layer was from the place I went. Like, the place I got my nails done is coming off, but the one that I did last night isn't, because this is very thin. One of the big perks of doing your shellac nails is that you don't have to wait for the polish to dry, which is something that I can't stand. Once the nail polish is off, you're gonna go in with your cuticle pusher and you're going to push the cuticle back and kind of just clean up along the cuticles. If you want, you can cut your cuticles, you can soak your fingers, then you can go in and shape your nails. I normally go for like a square and then you're gonna go in with this. This is like really important. It's gonna make the top very smooth, but still have a little bit of grit to hold on to. And you're just gonna buff your nail bed so i just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then i go around and make sure it's all clean so now we're ready to start i have my base coat my top coat and the color that i'm going to be using i have my lamp and my little scraper tool to clean up the edges the first thing you're going to do is put on your base coat and i find that this polish is a lot easier to spread on your nails evenly and more clean than um, regular nail polish because it's a little bit thicker. So you're just gonna bake that for a minute. So now that's baked, you're gonna go ahead and do your other hand. It's really easy if you rest your wrist on the edge of the table. It really gives you a lot more control or you can have someone help you. And you're gonna go in with the first coat of your nail polish and it's super easy. You wanna do thinner layers, build it up slowly rather than chunking it on. A trick to making this more even is if you turn your nail upside down, it'll help in the evening out process, but you don't really have to worry too much about that because the more coats you do, the more even it will look. Go ahead and bake that for 60 seconds. Okay, so something I realized would be helpful in this is if I got a really thin brush and a little thing of acetone so it can kind of wipe away 
whenever it gets around because this is like I know from past experience that this is going to come off in the shower but I just like to make it all nice and clean so now both hands have their first coat I'm going to go in and do a second layer this time I'm going to try to make it a little bit thicker you're going to take your little brush dip it in some acetone make sure it's not like dripping in it and just sweep away oh yeah that helps so much Okay, do this. This brush is from Morphe. It's the M158. But with a color that's as opaque as white, you want to make sure it's really crisp and clean. We're learning as we go. So now you're going to do the third layer. This time I'm going to focus a lot of the pigment at the end because when it bakes, it kind of pulls away from the end. Don't be too alarmed about like the little white around because that does come off like when you shower and wash your hands, it peels right off. And now you're gonna bake this for 60 seconds. And when you're baking, it's best to keep your nails kind of like at an angle like this so that the polish kind of stays at the tip. If not, it'll tend to like pull away from the ends. I'm gonna go in with a top coat, which is also very important. I like this top coat because it's not thick. Some salons use a very thick top coat and it makes your nails look very bulky. And you guys, I'm being 100% honest, this did not take me longer than when they do it for me. So doing this, yeah, you have to do it yourself. It's not as relaxing maybe. And maybe once in a while you can still treat yourself. It's really easy and super affordable. And in the long run, it's gonna save you th like thousands of dollars. So now that they're both done baking, I'm gonna go in or curing or whatever. I don't know the proper terminology. You're gonna go in with just some rubbing alcohol. And you're gonna rub the sticky layer off the top. So then I always go back in with a file and kind of clean up the edges. You can kind of file them to make them look even more perfect. After I filed and done, you're gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. This is very important to make your nails look all nice and fresh so there you go nails are done that took a total maybe of 45 minutes but i was also talking and explaining everything and these are the nails i'm super happy with them this is so much easier than doing regular nail polish at home and now like i didn't have to wait for it to dry and i can just go on with my day and it's gonna last for two to three Week. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got a few tips and tricks and I hope you guys are gonna save some money doing your nails at home. I can't believe we hit 50k on YouTube. I, I literally cannot believe it. I'm so happy. I love you guys all so much and it really means so much to me to see all your feedback and you interacting on my videos. It really means a lot to me because I don't know I really love making these videos and it's I love interacting with all of you and talking with all of you and it means a lot to me that you're liking the content I'm putting out as usual don't forget to subscribe like this video and turn on bell notifications thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you back here on monday